test. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker, and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. As you can see, we've already started here. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. The Prévy and the weighted pass keeps everyone guessing. Oh, a shooting chance! And that certainly packed a punch. been cleared and it's played forward seems now to be all about width well when you have the personnel to create in wide areas then they need to see as much of the ball as possible a really good feat goes for the cross Oh, it's a searing run, he is a man on a mission. Cross deflected behind for a corner. They've played it short. Plays a clever pass. In again. Chance! That's a half-decent try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Precious little by way of goal mouth action yet. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And there is the half-time whistle. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least defensively. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. The second half gets on the way. Bordeaux playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty of positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. It's 
Got out for a throw in. And the one. Goes down, but nothing given. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Peter, I can't stress enough the need to get to this fella quickly. They can save themselves a whole lot of hassle. Well, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Forward it goes. And, oh, that's too long. Little to report from an attack. Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Bordeaux have to get it into the box and quickly. It's on a plate. Oh, he's in. And the finish. Oh, yes, it's there. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, what a cracking goal. But a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Bordeaux take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. And that's it, Bordeaux win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. So a dramatic game decided in its very last moments. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.